guys, Yonex claims that this racket is a spinning machine. Spoiler, it is not. Guys, this is the new VCOR 98 2023. I was so excited to play with this racket after all the hype around it. And I certainly enjoyed the VCOR Pro 97. And I was very much looking forward to playing with this. Shout out to the Tough Pro Shop for lending me this racket. If you're interested in them, link is in the description down below. Let's start with the review. Before we talk about the main topic, I have to start with fear and control. Because there's something with this Vicor 98 I never felt before in any other racket I played so far. New Pro Stuff 97 has it a little bit, but not as much as the V-Core. This is the weird flexing when hitting a little bit off center. Mostly had that on my backhand where I'm usually miss hitting mostly. I kind of felt that frame is bending when the ball is about to leave the string. I cannot really describe it correctly, but it felt a bit off and it was disturbing me a lot. I have seen other YouTubers talk about that issue as well. But the rest was good. Control on the forehand and slice were there. I really liked it on the surf. Good feedback and pop on the surf. This was the shot I liked the most. So spin was promised by Yonex. That there was never a record of Yonex ever made before that can, cre that can create more topspin than the Yonex Vico line of 2023. Maybe that is true with the Vico 100. It cannot certainly be true with the Vico 98. And other reviewers had the same issue as well. As much as I tried, on my forehand I could not create a decent amount of topspin. Every time I tried, I almost hit the back wall. Here is a perfect example of that. On my backhand, the issue was not as bad. As my backhand is more flat, and that is very nice with this racket. The misery although continues with the kick surf. As much as I tried, it, is, it simply was not enough that I could use my kick surf effectively. Instead of that, I leaned towards the slice surf as a reliable second surf, which worked out good to be fair. Continuing with the surf, we go to the flat surf now, which was maybe the best shot for me with the Vico 98. Not only did I get very good control, but a reasonable amount of power. Very, very good pop on the surf. I hit some good first surf with this frame at this review. On the ground strokes, the power was there as well. Not too much, I felt like. You can swing the racket very fast, but the low flex made the ball stay in when I tried to go for my shots, when I hit flat. So the power is there, but a healthy amount, so overhitting was not an issue. The racket is extremely muted, but I do not know if this helps with comfort. Before the string broke in the first session, I even had to remove my dampener, which I always use in every racket I play with, because the feel was so off. And even with the new string, which was the Pro's Pro Cyber Power, it felt more muted than a lot of other rackets. But the racket overall is comfortable. It is not too heavy and the balance is just right to be able to really swing it fast. Also the stiffness rating is very low. That certainly helps absorbing pace and, sur and saving your arm from getting hurt over time. This is definitely a W for the Vico 98. The Vicor 98 certainly did not fit my game style. And even though Yonix claims that this racket achieves more topspin than any other Yonix racket in the past, I was certainly disappointed how little topspin I actually achieved. And it was maybe just me, it was like that during the playtest. As I did not really enjoy this racket, I certainly cannot really recommend this racket to anyone. If you have a different experience and if you want to recommend it, feel free to do so in the comment section. And if you're interested in my first tournament of the season, check out the match 